Hey, how's it going? It's Ikelo here. Welcome to another video. So today I have with me a quite interesting pair of active noise cancelling headphones which cost just £50. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, here they are. They are made by a company named X Sound. These are the X Sound H5D active noise cancelling headphones. Uh, the company reached out to me a few weeks ago and asked me if I was going to test out their headphones, that if I liked them, then I should feature them on my channel. I was like, why not? So I have been using them for a while now and they really surprised me considering how much you are paying for these. So today in this video, I will be telling you all about the X-Sound H5D active noise cancelling headphones, which cost just £50, which amounts to about $65 thereabout. So first of all, let's take a look at what comes in the box. Uh, as you can see, it comes in this nice gorgeous package. Upon how cheap these headphones are, they come with a leather pouch, which really really surprised me. Nice and soft flush leather pouch for carrying it around. It's got a rope at the top here to close it up. Putting that aside, you see the headphones seated at the top. It's got a very very nice build quality. I was surprised how well put together these headphones are, considering how much you're paying. It's got a very minimalistic design all around, no cresting whatsoever, just at the top you have the X-Sound crest. It's made of metal all around and uh, it's got a very nice soft headband. The headband is made of metal wrapped around with leather as well. They are still pretty light even though they've got some weight. They really put a lot of effort in making sure that these look premium. And then the ear cups are really really soft and comfortable. They are made of this protein leather. Uh, which gives them this very nice and flush you know feel even the side of the ear cups are made of leather and they are padded with leather putting that aside then you've got a pack which contains some accessories you have a micro usb cable for charging these up i wish they used usb type c but unfortunately you are getting micro usb for charging these up and then you've got your 3.5 millimeter cable for wild listening and then there is also a flight adapter if you want to use these I don't know how many people are going to use these, but if you want it, it's there for you to use, which is really, really good. And then there is a user manual as well. There is a small notice that states that once you are using wired connection with these headphones, you cannot access the active noise cancellation feature. So you have to bear that in mind. So for button placement, you've got your active noise cancelling button here, and then you've got your power switch which also serves as your play and pause button as well. And you also use that for answering calls as well. You've got some control buttons here for increasing your volume and also for fast forwarding and rewinding your tracks. And then underneath, you've got your micro USB port for charging these up. And then on the left ear cup, you've got your 3.5 millimeter audio port for wired listening. So as you can see, they swivel slightly and rotate to an angle of 90 degrees. So you can place them flat on the table. These don't fold up. Yes, no folding feature on these. So you have to bear that in mind. The headbands are made of metal and it's coated with leather, but they don't adjust smoothly as you can see. Yep, uh, this is where they chipped out a little bit, which is quite forgivable. The ear cups are not rounded in the inner parts. Uh, they are kind of oval in shape, but they would fit most ears. The ear cups are quite thick, which makes them very, very comfortable, which brings us to comfort these have a very nice comfortable snug fit uh, wearing these for like hours and hours i don't feel any sweat coming to battery life x sound claims you get up to 20 hours with active noise cancellation turned on from my testing these stay more than 20 hours yes with active noise cancellation turned on when you turn them off these can go for like almost a week yeah i've been able to use them for like five days on a stretch battery life is really really great which brings us to sound quality. The sound quality on these are pretty, pretty amazing for the price point. Yes, you heard me. So what stood out about the sound quality of these headphones is how balanced they are at about, you know, normal volume levels. The bass is there. The mids are also there. That is what I really like about these headphones. The vocals don't sound piercing or tinny in any way. These are using 50 millimeter drivers, which are quite larger than the normal 40 millimeter drivers so that's one thing you have to bear in mind and they can handle more bass and uh, without distorting easily the bass tends to be much closer to what the original source intended the bass is not boosted on this you get very clean 
natural bass. You get very nice instrument separation, good amount of bass, clarity as well. It's like a lot of effort went into tuning these headphones, which is really, really good. One thing I also noticed is that these are very good for bedtime listening. So if you are the type that likes to listen to music before you go to bed, these are very, very good because they are very comfortable and they sound very good at low volumes. It's quite interesting. I can say all these about a pair of headphones that cost about 50 pounds. Now coming to the active noise cancellation, you would definitely expect cheap active noise cancelling headphones to be, you know, weak when it comes to active noise cancellation. The active noise cancellation on these are strong. They will reduce noise even in busy environments or the ambient noise. This does a very good job of cancelling them out. But one thing to note about the active noise cancellation is the overall music volume is reduced and then you lose a little bit of detail and mid once you turn on the active noise cancellation. But once you crank up the volume, it becomes pretty clear. Call quality on these two are very very good. The person at the other end can hear me clearly uh, but I had to raise the volume like to around 50% because they sounded a little bit quiet. Bluetooth connectivity also is great. I have not had any connectivity issues whatsoever. Although these don't use Bluetooth 5.0, they use Bluetooth 4.2 so you have to bear that in mind. When watching movies, there is no lag. Uh, whatsoever. So these are pretty good when it comes to that, even though they've not got any aptX or aptX HD. But one thing for you to bear in mind is that you cannot connect these to more than one device at a time. So in conclusion, for the price point, you cannot complain about these headphones. I have tested lots and lots of cheap active noise cancelling headphones. They seem not to tick a lot of boxes, but these headphones, the HD5, they seem to tick a lot of boxes for their price point. I just wish there was an app to tweak the sound settings and the active noise cancellation. That would have been really, really great as these headphones got lots of potentials. So if you are on the market looking for cheap active noise cancelling headphones that actually work, these should definitely be on your list. This video is not sponsored in any way. I'm not sure if these are available on Amazon US. They are definitely available on Amazon UK. I'll check if they are available. I'll be throwing links down in the description section for you to purchase these if you want. Thanks so much for watching. As always, feel free to check out other nifty gadgets on this channel. I am Ezekiel and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Adios.